If you are a FL Studio user like myself, and you're looking for a stock DSing method, whether it's because you don't want to spend money on a third-party plugin, or you're just somebody who likes to use the stock plugins that come with the program they purchased, then it might feel like you are out of luck or you're pretty limited in options. The first two options for DSing that I think are pretty straightforward and are a lot more common are Maximus and Fruity Multiband Compressor. Maximus is as simple as applying a preset, and in this case, it's the split or narrow band deesser. And Fruity Multiband Compressor is a little bit more of touchy work, but if you're a little more advanced, then you might be familiar with that technique. In this video, I just wanted to show you guys another method that's pretty hidden inside of FL Studio. And this plugin in general is hidden, and it has a lot of crazy features that a lot of people are missing out on. This plugin is called Patcher. And you might be familiar with Patcher. You might have used it for various different things, including just routing of plugins in general, or side chaining, or mid EQs. Like, there's a lot of different things that you could be using Patcher for. But this particular one is in the presets, and it's called Intelligent DSer. The reason I like to use this is it's relatively straightforward. I think the multi band compressor may be a little bit more of a powerful and fine tunable deesser and I can make a video kind of showing you guys how to use that as well but in this video I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at the patcher preset that is intelligent deesser so basically with the intelligent deesser it gives you the ability to take away or leave the high end in it gives you a sensitivity knob a range a frequency a smooth and a speed because of how much high end is in my vocals I'm gonna want to turn leave high to the maximum and then like we can just mess with the rest here. And one of the main reasons that I like this DSer more than the others is this inspect button. What this inspect button does is similar to a third party program like Pro DS or Spitfish, it allows you to solo out just the sibilance or the sound itself of the S and what you're hearing. And it's an extremely useful feature to have to be able to hear exactly what you're cutting out. And you can also do this with Fruity Multiband Compressor. It's just a little more tricky. So I love that they just have it as one button here, which is really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my chain and we can go ahead and take a look at how that sounds. Just maybe, maybe it's not so bad yet. Is left, maybe it's all over. As you can hear, there is a lot of high end. If I don't move the sensitivity and range knob, then it's going to take away a lot of the high end of my vocals and a lot of noises that we aren't trying to get rid of because they aren't S sounds and they aren't sticking out in that way. If you're using a more mid range or regular vocal, you're not gonna need to mess with this sense or range as much. And I really like as well that they have this little dot here to show you where the default was and you can just work back from there whenever you need to. Let's go ahead and take one more listen to it with and without the inspect and then we'll listen to it with the beat as well and hear how well it did. Maybe it's all okay. my mindset I close my eyes I take a breath I wonder how much time is left maybe it's all okay still maybe I'll find one day one last quick mention about DSing in general for me, I like to put my DSer at the end of my chain or at the minimal after compression and EQing because if you don't put it after your additive EQ or your compression, a lot of the time that stuff can just add the S's back in. So you're almost DSing for no reason. And another thing that a lot of people like to do is to record with a DSer on their vocal chain. And that might be something that you guys want to experiment with as well and something you might enjoy. With all that being said, this was a pretty simple and straightforward video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick video and that it helped you guys out. If you'd like to see a tutorial with the multi-band compressor and how to use that as a more precise de-esser, I'd be more than happy to make that, so let me know. 
And thank you guys so much for listening. So much love and peace.